Americans. People have forgotten that film is more than just like setting up a camera and letting everybody else do the fucking work. Like, it's about manipulating the camera and manipulating the situation to look like one complete finished product. And he was doing that when he was like 10. He was always making like little uh, stories with uh, still photos. And finally at uh, age 11, I got a, a used regular eight millimeter camera and... I could, uh, I could pull it out. was like in the middle of town you could walk two miles backwards into a prairie that I used as my back lot there was a, a local horror host Dr. Creep who had a show a shock theater I think I'm going to be sick <laughs> I never missed an episode of Shock Theater because that's my schooling as far as horror films. And our sing-alongs with Dracula and Frankenstein, the Wolfman and the Mummy. When you're 11 and you say, okay, I'm a movie maker, I was lucky that I could convince my sister and my brother primarily to be uh, my actors. For my dad, uh, he had a projector. And I remember the first time I said, can I borrow this? Can I take it up to my room and watch what I just did? And he looked and he saw me carry that projector off and he goes, bye bye projector. <laughs> I think a lot of us fucked around with a camera when we were 10, but um, his stuff looks like, you know, uh, better than a lot of the stuff most 35 year old men are making today and passing off as like a film. I mean, the animation sequences, like, he's really big on effects. It's like people have forgotten how to use effects, but if you take the time and you know what you're doing, like, you can create these amazing in-camera effects or crazy, like, Ray Harryhausen animated demons running around and you have fire, fake blood. I was uh, the son of a local merchant, so the theater owners let me into anything. All these films that had violence and gore, and uh, I wanted to get in on that. <laughs> Yeah. 
Sandwich.